All right, welcome to a new uh, situation here. And you know, on this channel, I'm always trying to find interesting new angles. Uh, this game is full of fun situations. And yet, if you play through an entire game, uh, it can be kind of boring and, and long term and whatnot. So what I'm trying to do on this channel is just focus in on certain situations that are fun. So here's a situation that I'm in now. So here, here's what's up. I have one, two oil fields. All right. And this is Mesopotamia. You know, that's my favorite game. Uh, Mesopotamia, of course, is the game where you have to, you have to get uh, four of the seven oil fields. So uh, you can't really see them from here. <clears throat> but there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's three on the island, two on up here and two down here. There's seven oil fields all together and you have to get four of them to win and you have to hold them for a while. So here's what's cool about right now. Um, if you go over to my three base drip uh, playlist, you can see when I have three bases and I'm moving into four, what I do. So that's, you could pause this and go check that out because as soon as you get four bases, everyone attacks you because everyone left in the game knows that you're about to win. So everyone just like, they don't even care about Homeland security. They just throw everything they have at you. So uh, you, if you're interested, go check that out. So, but here's, here's, this is a different situation. I have two bases you can see here, well defended, you know, well defended bases. I've got fighters here. I've got eight bombers, uh, 13 cannon, 155 guys. And then some on the periphery here, I have one, two, three, four cannon and two, four, six, eight, like 80 to 90 uh, infantry around the periphery here. So it's a, it's a nicely defended little thing here. I love that I have the eight uh, bombers here. That's helpful. And, you know, if you kind of scoot around, you can see I'm building cannon, fighter, cannon, cannon, and then railgun. So I'm building a defensive stuff here. Okay. Let's go over to here. My other place. Oh, it's even worse. This situation here. <clears throat> I've got three railgun. One, two, and then one back at base. So the railguns are fun because if you if you click on this, you can see the railgun radius goes all the way out to everybody. Oh, it's so nice. And then so uh let me just go ahead and grab everybody in this just region so you can see what I've got. Like, look at this. 583 infantry, 27 uh, artillery, 10 tanks, three rail guns, five armored cars. And it just, the list goes on and on. Uh, I've got some bombers there, fighters, cavalry. I don't know how many because I can't see down there. But it's ridiculous. So here's the situation. This is what this is what this whole channel is about. Is that I have a friend to me right here. Belgium has one, two, three. That's Belgium. He has three. So he is three base drip. He has three bases against my two right? And now he has to decide what to do. And you can tell we've got, we've got this uh, right of way with each other. And a lot of the good players, um, we give each other right away because we don't want to fight each other, you know? So here's the thing. I'm looking at this strategically. Look at what he has. He has one, two, three bases. So he has two options. He can go after Australia and go into there and try to get this fourth base. He can do that. But look at that. Look at that. He just, Australia, Australia just has, he doesn't just have the base. He has all the territory all the way around it. So if, if uh, Belgium tries to go in there, he's going to project. He's going to really like, oh, so it seems way more likely. Here's Belgium here, right here. Boom, boom, boom. He has access to this 
oil field of mine and this oil field of mine, it seems way more likely that he's going to try to come on in there and do something. So I'm just, the first thing I have is I do have this uh, blimp. This blimp is coming in and I'm just going to get eyes on <laughs> the situation. But here's, okay, so here's the entire thing about this playlist. This playlist is what do you do when you are inferior? Because I am like, I am two bases against his three bases. You know, you look at here, I am Poland. I'm in fourth place. I'm behind Britain, Brazil, and Australia. And Australia is the one, let me see if I can, it's really hard to select things. Oh, there we go. So here we go. Yeah, this is Australia. So that's who uh, Belgium has to go against. So anyway, this entire game mode is going to be, <clears throat> what do I do? Because here's Belgium. Belgium starts off right next door to me, right next door, like my best buddy. He takes the first oil field. And let me just show you early on. Um, let me go over to Belgium. Um, yeah, just go to there, Belgium. Um, early on, I say, I'm not coming after you. You got there first. I'm pushing out to the island. He says, okay. I say, you're doing great. Let's have a non-aggression pack, blah, blah, blah. So basically, he takes the my native, uh, my natural expansion, my native first, you know, oil field. He takes it. So instead, I go ahead and push out, and I take Baghdad. And I just take it. I just take it. And I got eight of the nine fields. Um Australia took this one. It was a little shifty, but I let it go. It was like, I, it's not worth going to war about it. And then from there, I went out and took the other island oil field. So um, here's the thing, though. I am surrounded. Like this guy, Belgium. So watch his natural expansion. He, get, he takes the first oil field. He comes over here. He crosses over me because we have right away with each other. And he takes this oil field. Okay. Oh. Okay, good for you. While somehow also crossing over to the island and taking this oil field. So he has three. He has three oil fields. Now, granted, he's missing one territory here. And in, in, uh, he took all four of those, he took all four of these. So he's pretty, he's pretty beefy, you know. And, and so here's my thinking. And this is the entire channel. This entire channel is based on this is I think he has to attack me. I don't think he can attack over into Australia. It's just too, there's too much land around it. And the thing about it is as soon as you attack in, you know, Australia starts moving all of their shit to that point of attack. You know, it's like it's an early warning system or something, you know. But here's the thing. He is, you know, Belgium is on my front porch. So he can jump in. So this entire channel, this entire uh, stack is going to be about me with two bases trying to fend off and defend against someone with three bases who basically surrounds me. So, all right, that's that's the whole thing. So check it out. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, this, this video actually went longer than I usually like to. It's about eight minutes. But uh, anyway, uh, come back because... Hopefully I'll have some devastating, you know, because the defender has the advantage, you know, right? Like I have the fortresses, I have the defensive uh, cannon. So hopefully I can spank some booty. We'll see. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Adios, amigos.